Hey, I'm Tom Power. I'm here in the Ray Bay at the Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. Some of my good buddies. I'm here to tell you about some new music that's coming out in the next couple of weeks. Starting out, have you ever gotten like a, a haircut you're not entirely sure what people will like? It's a real risk for you, so you walk into a room and you kind of gauge your buddy's reaction on your brand new hairstyle. That's kind of like what Mumford & Sons are doing right now. They're pretty much the biggest band in the world, but they got there playing banjos and mandolins and wearing suspenders and vests. Now they've tried something completely different. They've given up on the banjos, given up on the mandolins, uh, they've kept the sweaters and vests, and they sound a little bit more like Coldplay, a little bit more like U2. Like the haircut, it's a real risk, and they want to know what you think of it, whether they're pulling it off. The new song is called Believe. The album's not out till May 4th, but check out the brand new Mumford & Sons. So open up my eyes. Tell me I'm alive This is never gonna go our way If I'm gonna have to guess what's on your mind all right, I'm still here at the Ripley's Aquarium with some new friends now, talking now about a new album from a band called The Weepies. Now, this is an interesting record because they're a husband and wife duo that went through a very, very serious chapter in their lives. The wife, Deb, was diagnosed with breast cancer. She had to go through chemo, and if you can believe this, while she was going through chemo, she recorded the vocal tracks for this new record. If at any point in your life you've gone through any kind of struggle, any kind of anxiety, any kind of anguish, you are going to relate to this record. It's the new Weepies. It's out April 28th. It's called Sirens. Check this out. I hear their voices, sirens calling out emergency. And finally, still here in the aquarium, not making any more new friends, but I like the ones I have. I'm going to tell you a little about the new record from Catherine Calder. If you're familiar with the great Vancouver indie rock band, the New Pornographers, kind of like the greatest indie rock band in this entire country, they're all individual solo artists on their own, and they release albums on their own. And this is Catherine, one of the singers in this band's new record. And she says, and I love this, it's all about love. Quote, I wrote love songs, but love in a broad way. To feel lost is to feel love. To be vulnerable is to let yourself be loved. So pick up a box of heart-shaped chocolates and check out the new Catherine Calder. It's self-titled and it's out April 14th. All right, that's it for me this week. Don't forget, you can like and you can comment, you can subscribe, you can do all of those internet things right here on the CBC Music YouTube channel, youtube.com slash CBC Music. Thanks a lot to the crowd of the Ripley's Aquarium. They were wicked for letting us hang out with the fish. I never thought as a Newfoundlander I'd ever want to hang out with this many fish, but I was proven wrong this week. Goodbye from all of us. Hi there, I'm Julie Nasrallah. I'm the host of Tempo on CBC Radio 2. So, what'd you think? Did you love this video? You want more? Well, share it, baby. Share it, like it, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your comment in the comment box.